Now, I'm only going to be referring to things that are scientifically documented um, to be a benefit of PEMF. I am going to then talk about a little bit of my personal experience and the experience that I've had with clients. So how this device works is it surges a high voltage of energy through a device that creates a very strong magnetic field. Now, this magnetic field then pulses, making it very easy for it to get into your cellular linings and the membranes of your cells. This creates your DNA um, and your cells start regenerating at a much faster rate. PEMF stimulates your body to produce more stem cells. Now, stem cells are part of your natural repair system and they will go to places of either injury or places they need to regenerate. And from that, the PEMF therapy also helps these cells differentiate, which means turn into specialized cells. For example, a specialized muscle cell, specialized cartilage cell, immune cell, etc. This actually has been shown to boost lymphocytes and it has been shown to boost other immune factors, but I will go into that a little bit later. Um, I want to talk about my personal experience regarding biological aging. Now, as you all know, we should be aging in a linear rate. Now, there are a lot of therapies out there that have been shown to combat aging, anti-aging therapies. This is probably one of the most effective anti-aging therapies on the market, because what it's actually been shown to do, not just via the stem cells, um, and stem cells, of course, when they're from your own body and natural and not injected, it's not something that you have to do as an invasive um, type of treatment. Your own cells are always going to be prioritised and utilised much better than anything foreign. And this is the basis of natural medicine, that what you create naturally is far better than substituting with things like hormones or anything else. So we're looking at the body's own mechanism of healing I've done a biological age test um, about seven or eight years ago and I retested last year in March. So I have a really good judgment of how my biological age has gone since I've started using this therapy. I initially had a biological age of 38 and last year I had a biological age of 27. So I would consider that an absolute um, belting result if you ask me. Uh, on just, you know, from something like just lying on a mat that generates uh, magnetism. So let's dive into some of this science. There is a research gate portal called pubmed.gov and on this research gateway you can find um, studies on PEMF. At the moment there's just over 600 studies that prove benefits of PEMF. Now this includes benefits to Alzheimer's, benefits to degenerative conditions of the brain and spine, um, nerve disorders, cancer, anxiety, circulation, improving the immune system, improving bone density, alleviating depression, decreasing diabetic factors, um, treating migraines and headaches, uh, improving nerve repair, treating pain, increasing your range of motion and cancer prevention. Quite a large chunk of these studies refer to PMF for circulation and microcirculation. Now, the mechanism in which it does this is actually diverse. So we've got a couple of different factors playing in here. So the increase of nitric oxide that's being stimulated by PMF is then helping the blood vessels dilate, thus making much larger passageways for blood to actually circulate into the cells to provide the cells with more oxygen, more nutrients and more energy. Um, not only that, but that can decrease a lot of factors when it comes to arterial disease, um, when it comes to blood clots and things like that. Um, going to blood clots, it actually um, makes the blood less viscous as well as the plasma less viscous. Um, it stops something called a rouleau effect, which is where the blood cells stack and clot together. Now, this has been seen in um, some of these clinical trials um, to improve in a matter of minutes. So they have taken live blood analysis of people 10 minutes before uh, and after a session of PMF. And 
they have seen this change literally in the matter of those minutes. So for cardiovascular conditions and blood related conditions, this is amazing. Um, going back to nitric oxide, um, it manages glucose levels. So it actually reduces your um, glucose spikes when you do eat carbohydrates, which is absolutely amazing for anybody with diabetes or anybody suffering from um, hyperglycemia. So nitric oxide has so many benefits. So by stimulating nitric oxide, we're getting an absolute array of other benefits here. Um, of course, libido is very much so implicated and stamina is also implicated with nitric oxide training and athletic performance. Um, but also when we're looking at people with things like fibromyalgia, it reduces muscle soreness. And by reducing mus muscle soreness, not only in athletes, but people that have muscle soreness for no reason, you are again improving the quality of life and the ability of that person to get up and do something. Microcirculation is something that is important for all of us, no matter our age range. Um, of course, as we get older, our microcirculation degenerates, the circulation in our fingers and in our feet, um, and even in the legs, we can get some varicose veins and um, thread veins and things like that. That is a sign of the degeneration of this microcirculation. Um, not only are we not providing our tissues with enough oxygenation and enough nutrients, um, we are making the chances of and the risk of cancer actually increase. Um, the less we have nourishment to cells, the less they communicate back with the body. And it's very important to keep this communication going. Now, if people are getting symptoms like cold hands and feet, um, tingling, uh, which then links back to the nerves as well, um, it's a very big sign that we need to start looking after microcirculation. The earlier on we start to prevent things, the earlier on we start to look at these type of things, the less likely we are to come down with such conditions and the less need we're going to... Um, well, have to go to actually repair. Less extent we're going to have to go to actually repair these things. What I really want to focus on for the next few minutes is the benefits that it can actually offer to people that aren't suffering from any symptoms. So my main reason for purchasing a mat when I did, I was particularly concerned with something called electromagnetic radiation. So looking at things like Wi-Fi and 3G at the time, now I know that this has progressed to 3 and now 5G, um, which is a much tougher carcinogen. Um, PEMF has been proven to combat the damage of radiation and combat the damage of electromagnetic um, radiation, things like I've just mentioned, but also when you're flying, you are exposed to a lot more radiation and this does a lot more damage to your cells. Now, by the mechanism that I've discussed um, in the beginning of energizing the cellular linings and repairing the DNA, it combats the DNA damage that this actually offers. So personally, I go on the mat twice a day for eight minutes at the moment. I am thinking of increasing it to 16 minutes and when I have the time I do because I understand 5G is far more toxic than the other things we've experienced. I am going to make a video on 5G so please do stay tuned for that because I'm going to discuss um, the scientific proven facts of what 5G actually does to the human cells. The regeneration process is just so beneficial when it comes to exercise. I personally probably exercise too much, but since I've started to use the mat, I have noticed a lot less muscle soreness, a lot, a lot more energy when I'm um, doing the rest of my activities in the day. But also, if I'm going to train again, or if I'm going to teach again, I've got enough energy to have a comfortable time. So in sports and athletic performance, it's been seen so beneficial that they've actually started to use this for racing horses. And there are larger kits that you can buy for animals that are performing as such. So do please look into that. It's, um, it's an absolutely unbelievable way to boost your results and your athletic training. So when it comes to joints and injuries, not only does it protect your body from uh, injuries in the joints because of course it stimulates circulation to the joints and it keeps everything a lot more um, flexible and warm. Um, some people use this uh, pre-workout, post-workout and I do believe that it works extremely well. If I'm going to go for something like a run and I do a mat session beforehand I do find that I'm a lot looser and it takes me a lot less time to kind of get into um, the proper flow of things. 
So the next part of information here about immunity is also linked to osteoporosis and the bone marrow. Now, there's deep circulation into the bones that actually improves the bone density as well as bone marrow quality is then also stimulating this um, bone marrow to make healthier lymphocytes and other cells um, that are made by the bone marrow. So we're looking at immune boosting effects um, in a very specific way. Even from a naturopathic perspective, we're looking at the cellular oxygenation and the way that it improves the terrain and the microbiome of the body um, in a way that it has such a healthy impact on your gut tissue where actually 80 to 90 percent of your immune cells are actually formed in the first place so by bettering the ter terrain and by bettering your in microbiome your immunity is immediately boosted by keeping a much cleaner um, environment in the gut so let's talk about detoxification now detoxification is so important to each and every single one of us no matter how clean your diet is no matter how many times you go to the gym no matter how clean the water you drink is you're still going to accumulate a lot of toxins from the air you breathe from the pollution um, that is in our field uh, in our energetic field when we're looking at emf and things like that and even your organic produce and your um, clean water it all has byproducts, byproducts that have to leave the body in a certain way. Now, if you're not aware about your body care routine and how to keep that clean, that itself could actually be imposing many, many dangers to you. And I'm going to have to make a different video on this because it's such a long, long topic. But basically, everything that you're applying to your skin, in 23 seconds, it is in your blood. Now, this is going to obviously impact your liver, it's going to impact your detoxification, and it's going to impact you on a cellular level if you are putting something on your skin that shouldn't be ingested. Um, naturopaths like myself and nutritionists and herbalists um, all agree on the fact that what you put on your body is as important as what you put in your body. Um, they are one and the same thing, and the sooner we begin to realise this, um, the quicker we're going to be able to um, facilitate the actions needed to make our lifestyle as clean as possible. So let's dive in here with the liver. Um, we're looking at PEMF enabling not just the optimization of your cells, not just the cleansing mechanism of your cells and making your cells able to release toxins and absorb nutrients easier, but it also aids liver detoxification, kidney and bowel detoxification. Now, this may mean that it improves bowel movements as well. But the main benefit here that we're seeing across studies is the moving of the lymphatic system. Now, the lymphatic system is your body's biggest sewage system, and it transports large molecules all around the body, be it good or bad molecules. Um, we have cancer cells that travel through there, dead and alive, um, and... Uh, your large particle toxins that can't actually travel in your bloodstream. Now, the lymphatic system is very underrated because what people don't understand is you have three times more fluid in your lymph than you do in your cardiovascular system. So yes, that means three times more than blood. So there is a lot more of this that needs to circulate in order for you to get proper detoxification. And I think the worst working bodily system in the West is definitely the lymphatic system. And it's something that we should be taking care of every day and we should be making a conscious effort to detox every day, especially if we want to decrease our um, rates of cancer in our population. So not only would that aid the detoxification, but by aiding all of these systems, it has a knock-on impact on your immune system. So let's move on to this immune function and the studies here show that not only by balancing the pH of the cells and improving the cellular voltage, of course that means how the cell can protect itself a lot better against pathogens, viruses and bacteria. We're also looking at the way that it stimulates um, the body to oxygenate on a much deeper level. Uh, oxygenation on a deep level, again, is very uninhabitable for parasites, very uninhabitable for bacteria and viruses. And basically, where, when they do such uh, expiration in the body, um, 
not only can it not stick to the cells as well, but it can't really produce inside the cells either. Meridian and energy flow in between organ systems and the nervous system. It has been proven to be as effective as a full body acupuncture section. So in a clinical studies, they compared um, acupuncture, laser acupuncture and PEMF. Now, they have proven that PEMF is as useful and beneficial for the body as this full acupuncture and the laser acupuncture worked absolutely 0% of the time. So I don't recommend that technology. Now, the main mechanism which it works for fibromyalgia um, is also very useful to your everyday person that struggles with a little bit of fatigue, a little bit of tiredness. So it actually increases the ATP production in your mitochondria, um, which is your energy factory in your cell. But it also increases something called ATPase. ATPase is an enzyme that promotes the release of ATP. And both of these are important for boosting your energy. So very quickly, I'm just going to discuss pain relief a little bit before I bore you to tears. Um, the most common reason for purchasing one of these machines in the world has been pain relief. Now, this is because these electromagnetic pulses actually block the pain signal from the brain. Um, so it stops the brain from perceiving pain in exactly the same way. Magnetic frequencies have also been shown to make the body produce more endorphins. And by producing more endorphins, your feel-good chemicals, you are also lowering the amount of perceived pain. Um, the other great thing about pain uh, relating to this is you are stimulated on a cellular level to regenerate and to improve regeneration thus eventually healing um, certain aspects that are causing you pain in the first place. So a lot of people have seen um, regeneration from major conditions, one of them being a very close personal friend of mine who's done a video on this a few years ago. Um, her name is Angie and she broke both of her knees um, doing gymnastics and she was told she was never going to walk again. Um, so I will put a link below to Angie's story and Angie's video. Um, in the beginning, is not really related to this, but she does bring it up uh, later on in the conversation. Um, if you need any more advice um, on what device to use, um, please do contact me. I'm always happy to help. Now, as you already know, there's a lot of technology out there and a lot of technology that won't work. And the thing is there is patent technology. Now, this means after a company releases a technology, they uh, put a patent on it uh, to say, nobody else can replicate this. Nobody else can make this the way we do. So some of the earliest um, technologies out there, uh, one I've been using for over 10 years, they were the ones that the research was initially done on. Um, and obviously I would use them, I do use them, and I would recommend using them as well. I will put a link below to where you can purchase their products. Um, there are other knockoff companies that have made, um, I would say, technologies that are not as beneficial, not as well developed, because they have to be at least seven to nine things different than the main patent to not be sued. So um, do be very cautious what you buy, do get expert advice, um, there are other things out there um, that say that they work in a similar way, but again, they're not scientifically backed the way this is, and they don't have the support of the science behind them. And if you're going to spend large sums of money, I would always make sure that you have um, some kind of documentation and you know proof that you're actually getting something for your money and uh, you know for your daily time that you're going to be spending on this mat. So yeah, if you are looking to purchase one, I recommend that you do at least eight minutes twice a day. If you're in an area or in a country that 5G is actually live, I definitely recommend 16 twice a day. Um, if you need any more recommendations, please do, please do contact me. If you have any questions uh, or any feedback, I am happy to listen. And I will make a, another video very soon discussing um, some of the components that I have highlighted. Have a lovely week. Hey.